Hello everyone, this is Pastor Tracy. I'm going to talk to you today and give you your first clue for today's lesson. It was a celebration and a time... Oh, <laughs> scared me! <laughs> and a time for parades and ticker tape. <laughs> and so it was a joyous occasion. And so, I don't know if anybody guessed the story, but it has something to do with the name for this Sunday. Keep watching to find out what it is. Hello, art kids. Today we are here with Serendipity the donkey. And that's because today our story has a donkey in it. We're actually, this story was a very important story. This is Palm Sunday. So it's actually in four parts in the Bible. It's in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's in Matthew 21, Luke 19, And I skipped Mark, but it's also in Mark, and it's also in John 12. And I'm going to be talking to you about John 12, where Jesus was in Bethage and Bethany, which is by Mount Olive, and they were going for the Passover festival. So right before all this happened, he had healed Lazarus and, Lazarus and brought him back from the dead, and he had... Hi. <laughs> to get you my jacket and had brought him back from the dead and he'd burned, performed a lot of miracles Hi. serendipity wants to talk she wants to tell the story and so he was visiting Mary Martha and Lazarus and um, getting ready for the Passover supper and he's there at Bethany and he tells his disciples so they're there for a couple of days and he's getting ready to go to the Last Supper and he said I want you to go to the town across the way and I want you to get a donkey that's never been ridden it's tied up here and I want you to take it and bring it to me and that's how I'm gonna enter Jerusalem so he says well what did they tell us why are you taking this donkey and I said well just tell them the Lord has need of it and they'll let you take it so the disciples go and do what they say and they do the somebody said well why are you untying the donkey and they said well the master of the Lord needs it. So they let him take it and Jesus goes and they bring it back to Jesus and they put his their cloaks on it on the donkey and Jesus gets on the donkey and he enters Jerusalem. Now people had heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. It's important that he rode in on a donkey. Donkey was a symbol of peace and most kings would ride in that way to symbolize that it was a sign of peace. And in the Old Testament in Isaiah and some other scriptures it talks about that the Savior was going to ride in on a donkey. So Jesus is riding in, people gather in the streets, they're celebrating, and they're putting their cloaks down in front of him, and they're cutting off palm leaves and throwing them in front of him, and they're shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, and talking and singing songs to him and worshiping him. And Hosanna was an important word because it meant saved or rescuer. So they were shouting, a rescuer or savior. And they were all happy to see him, except for one group of people. The religious leaders were not so excited to see Jesus. And they started plotting on a way to get rid of Jesus. But they also wanted to kill Lazarus because many people had gathered there because of the miracle Jesus had performed raising Lazarus from the dead. So Jesus enters the city and he's getting ready for the Passover supper and next week, is Easter so we're gonna actually be doing an interactive Easter Bible story so make sure you join me next week because the story starts great it starts with the triumphal entry and the people being excited to see Jesus and they're celebrating but then when Thursday comes around a few days later they all start turning on him and it's just like today we may have friends that are happy and they like here you play with my toy first what can I do for you but then as soon as you disagree with something that they say or do or don't do something they want they turn on you and they're not your friend anymore these people said they love Jesus and were there for him but next week it's a totally different story on how his friends treat him so join me next week and we're going to be talking about the Easter story see you then
Okay, so this is us. This pepper represents us and our friends. Actually, it represents our friends. And I'm putting it in the water. And this soap represents us when we have, as a Christian, when we're with God. Sorry, I took it out of the camera, obviously. So, this is what happens. Sometimes we make friends and they're all around us and they want to do stuff with us. But then we say something or tell them, hey, that's not right. You don't need to do that. And that's what happens. It just pushes everybody away from us. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But all the people that surround us are moving further and further away from us. Because they don't want to be associated with us anymore because we're Christians. Or because we're standing up for something that's right. Or we are just not doing what they don't want us to do. Or we're not going to that party. Or we're not playing that game. Or listening to that music. Or watching that movie. So they no longer want to be our friends. But there's good news. We have a friend that never leaves us. And is always there for us. And always with us. And his name is Jesus. And he's the best friend you'll ever have. He was there in front of you, behind you, beside you, and with you through it all. So remember when the world is walking away from you and turning their back on you, which also happened to Jesus. Um, coming up, we talk a lot about his friends leaving him and his disciples at Easter time when he was going through his trials. So remember, when you're going through a trial, you're not alone. You have Jesus there with you. Today we're going to make palm leaves for Palm Sunday. So what you need is white paper in your hand and some crayons, some tape, and a straw or a stick. So what you do is you trace your hand out on the paper, color it. You'll probably need about six or seven hand prints. And then you layer them and tape them onto the stick. I actually used two straws if you cut it at an angle. You can force it to fit in and make a longer stick to hold on to. And then I just taped it on the front and the back. And that is it. You can have your own palm leaf for Palm Sunday and use it to give a wave offering to God or to worship when you're singing. I look forward to seeing y'all next week. And it's going to be a special interactive Easter story next week. So make sure you tune in. Love you.